700 federal agents, 120 reputed rival gang members. Bronx, New York, is believed to be the largest gang takedown in New York City history. Hey, welcome to Slim Hoffa's True Crime Time. This video will be about who is Cherry Vasquez. Okay, let's start from Jacqueline West. When you look up Jacqueline West's background information, a number that is not hers, I repeat this number is not Jacqueline West number, will appear as if it's her recent number. I know this is not Jacqueline West number because I have called it and spoke to the owner of this phone. That person does not know Jacqueline West and doesn't know why their number appears in Jacqueline West's public information. And they are very confused as to what's going on. Now if you keep looking through Jacqueline West public information, you can see people they name as her relatives. You can see Cherry Vasquez's name on the list. And when you look up Cherry Vasquez on Facebook you can see this lady. And with so many other YouTube channels reporting the same information. So I was very confused. And I decided to ask a news reporter who has been on the Orin and Orson West case since day one. By and Wang. From channel ABC 23 to please clear up all this mix up. He responded and confirmed he will. Here is Bayan Wang's interview with Cherry Vasquez. Hey Alex, good evening. That woman's name is Cherry Vasquez and she lives right here in Bakersfield. In fact, she says she's been watching our coverage of these missing toddler brothers for quite a while now. But what she didn't expect is that she would eventually become part of the story. I thought this was a joke. I thought it was a joke. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But there was no punchline. Instead, only what Cherry Vasquez describes as torment. <laughs> Thursday was when a few YouTubers following the disappearance of two local toddler brothers showed up at Vasquez's door in Bakersfield. This is video of their encounter. Hi, this is Selena again. Um, do you mind if I talk with you for a second? The YouTubers claim that Vasquez is the mother of Jacqueline West, who they believe is involved in the disappearance of three-year-old Orson and four-year-old Orrin West. 23 ABC has confirmed with law enforcement in previous weeks that Vasquez is not the mother of West, and Vasquez says she has no idea who Jacqueline West is. What, what is it you okay. guys want me to do? What, what do you need me to do? Apparently there's a birth certificate that has your name on there, what's her name? <laughs> there's no, I have no idea. Okay, there's no birth certificate. My name is not on That's fake. But despite Vasquez saying these claims are wrong, this is what ended up on YouTube. This lady here that you're looking at in this photograph, we believe this is Jacqueline's biological mother. Is their involvement in a trafficking ring? Are they being targeted? Are they being used, groomed? Have they been used under the guise of witchcraft? I'm frustrated that they're they're lying. They're they made up all these bad things. Vasquez says she fears for her safety as BPD has responded to several separate incidents of harassment regarding the missing boy's case. On top of that, Vasquez says she had no idea that she was being recorded, though one of the YouTubers deny that. We even showed her the, the phone while it was recording. <laughs> There's no way that she did not know that. Um, I have it on video. I did not. So the big question now is how exactly did Cherry Vasquez get mixed up as a potential relative of Jacqueline West? So I reached out to one of the YouTubers to figure out, hey, how did you guys even get their address? How did you even get Vasquez's name? She said, well, we used a background check website, which then listed Vasquez as being a potential relative. So I kind of figured, all right, well, we got to speak to an expert to figure out how credible are these background check websites. As in the story we mentioned, we confirmed that Vasquez is not the mother of Jacqueline West. So I spoke to an expert who's been in the business for over 40 years, and he says there is no rhyme or reason to a lot of those websites. And he says that's why a lot of inaccurate information ends up on there. Alex? And Bayan, I have to ask you, what does she want to see happen from here, Vasquez? What does she want to see happen? Is she pursuing an attorney or anything? 
So yeah, she's definitely considering having some kind of legal counsel taking this to court, but really she says she's just really upset that her name got mixed up in this case at all. She just wants an apology, and frankly, she wants some of those YouTube videos taken down. So I reached out to all three YouTubers. One of them was actually based in Ontario, Canada, and he told me, hey, look, my intention at all was not to cause harassment. Vasquez says, hey, I don't care about intentions. I care about the impact, and I feel unsafe, was what Vasquez is saying. So the man in Canada said, hey, I'm going to reflect on my video. I'm going to take my video down and that he said he's going to make it right. As for the other two YouTube uh, channels, the, the people that run those channels, I reached out to them as well and they said they are willing to sit down and have an interview with me, but that they just aren't available today. Back to you. We're live in downtown by Ann Wang. All right. So now that we know Cherry Vasquez is not Jacqueline West's mother, and we now learn that these background sites are not 100% accurate. Let's bring the focus back to finding the boys. Where are the boys? Where is Warren and Orson West?